Good morning, Mavs Country. Lydia here to wish you a happy Saturday and a happy Memorial Day weekend. I hope you're all able to enjoy this long weekend. We all deserve it, right? Now to kick off this morning, we have this past season's top hits and fights. Yeah, we came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid of the moment. I'm not afraid. I can't hold it. I gotta show. Gotta get up in the morning. I gotta do it for purpose. Lately I'm on it. Lately I know I'm going. Taking whatever. Next up, Nick Schneider sits down with me and talks about the first time he knew he wanted to be a goaltender. Hey guys, welcome into Breaking the Ice with Lydia Taylor. Joining me today is goaltender for the Kansas City Mavericks, Nick Schneider. Nick, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I want to go back to the day when you were a kiddo and you decided, I want to be a goaltender. Yeah, I think uh, I, I got to think about that a little bit, but when uh, I was probably like six or seven and I had Fran, we had one goalie and everyone would try and be the goalie and one day I tried it and I, I kind of liked it. And then I tried it again and I liked it and I got, I got better and better and I, I just really enjoyed the position. And Goaltending is such a different position. How important has it been for you to be able to have a couple guys on the roster who are kind of going through the same thing as you? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's huge. You can really lean on each other. And both years I was fortunate, we've all had uh, a really good relationship with each other. Like last year, me and, me and Benny were, were pretty close. And you know, this year, me, Paris, and Hawks, we get along really well. And, you know, when one guy's having a tough time, the other two guys bring him up and, you know, someone else steps in the net, does a good job. And You're within the Calgary system. I want to go back to a couple years ago when you signed that contract with the Flames. What was that experience like and kind of what that relationship has grown into over the past couple years? Yeah, it's it's been good. Like, I know I, I signed that contract as a free agent at 18, so I, I wasn't drafted and that was a huge disappointment for myself and uh, going into camp and you know, I had a really good camp and got that contract, which was a, a huge relief because a lot of people said it wasn't possible and then it happening the way it was was, you know, worked out really well. But, uh, you know, it's just a constant, constant thing. Like I know for myself, I want to perform the best I can, you know, here in Kansas City and ultimately try and, you know, earn a call up and, you know, show I can play there again in Stockton and obviously ultimately go to the NHL. But we wish you all the best in trying to get to that ultimate goal of yours. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Now last but not least for this morning, back in December during our It's a Wonderful Week with the Mavericks, a group of our players were able to visit some local HCA NICUs to spread some holiday cheer and joy. We visited with some kids and some families. Um, we passed out some Santa hats, as you can see, and um, it was good to talk with some of them, and you know, to just and you know, just to help them through these times. Having people come by and show the support, and yeah. knowing that we have a community behind us, and everyone's always thinking about us. It's nice to see new faces come in here. It's always tough for them. They're spending their, I mean, they're spending all, all of their time here with their children. 
Um, they don't get to have the normal holiday schedule like we do. Um, so it's always good to get here and to spread some holiday cheer when we can. I hope these videos were able to spread you some joy this morning as we kick off this Memorial Day weekend. I hope you all enjoy it. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, go Mavs. Thanks for hanging out.